English 121 Counter Arguments from the Allen and Bacon Guide, pages 321 to 325. When analyzing the counter arguments in your texts, remember the Toolman model. A skeptical audience can attack an argument either by attacking a writer's claim and reasons or the underlying assumption or warrant beneath that connection. Either one of these is a point for counter arguments to arise. Good writers use evidence to support their reasons and then, anticipating the reader's objection to their own underlying assumptions, summarize that objection and provide a response to it. Good writers attempt to support both their reasons and their underlying assumptions. To determine what objections might be raised in the minds of your readers, let your analysis of your audience be your guide. Be sure to understand their values so you can determine where those underlying assumptions might not be agreed upon. One of the best ways to approach counterarguments is to summarize them fairly. By resisting the temptation to distort a counterargument, you demonstrate a willingness to consider the issue from all sides. Presenting a counterargument fairly actually builds your ethos as a writer rather than weakening your argument. And then, after you have, have summarized an objection or counterargument fairly and charitably, you must decide how to respond to it. You can either refute the counterargument directly by questioning the argument's reasons and supporting evidence, or its underlying assumptions, or both all the while analyzing the argument's appeals to ethos, pathos, and logos. Or, in cases where the counterargument is very strong, don't hide it to your readers, but you must summarize and concede to it. Making concessions to opposing views is not necessarily a sign of weakness, but simply acknowledges that the issue is complex. A concession can enhance the reader's respect for the writer and invite the reader to weigh the strengths of the argument charitably. In order to execute this, you want to use transitional expressions as you concede. These might include admittedly, even though, I agree, I concede, while, or while it is true that, granted, and many more. After a concession, you want to shift your argument to a different field of values where your position is strong and then argue for that new set of values. Often, writers will need to qualify their claims in light of the counterarguments that arise. That is, they must limit the force or scope of their claims to make it less broad and therefore less vulnerable and allow more room for exceptions. Unless your argument is airtight, limit it with qualifiers such as perhaps, maybe, may or might, in many cases, generally, tentatively, sometimes, often, usually, probably, likely, and many more. Keep these strategies in mind as you work to overcome counterarguments in your texts.